uh, we can learn more about how we can use a process called three-way mixing or spontaneous parametric down conversion to generate entangled photons. In this scenario, we will uh, be uh, seeding in a high-frequency photon into the nonlinear medium, and the output photons, which are generated due to the nonlinear process, are going to have their energies or frequencies adding up to the energy and the frequency of the input photon that is seeded into the medium. Uh, similarly, there's also conservation of momentum. And if we want to understand uh, from the quantum mechanical perspective how this comes about to be, we will be writing down the energy of the optical fields that are involved, which is essentially the interaction Hamiltonian shown on the right hand side and the slide. This can be written down as an integral of the nonlinear term that is strongly contributing. Uh, so the polarization induced in the material, which we described in the previous slide, and the electric field that is present in the medium. Uh, using this Hamiltonian, we can later write down the unitary evolution operator, which essentially determines how these fields evolve in this crystal as we propagate through time and through uh, the length of the crystal. Here we'll observe there are two integrals that are coming into picture. The first one is integral over space in the expression for the Hamiltonian. This integral essentially gives rise to momentum conservation. And the second integral, which is integral over time, that uh, gives rise to energy conservation. We also show here what is the expression for this interaction Hamiltonian in the bottom left hand corner of the slide. You will see here that there, there, it consists of creation operators, which are essentially uh, saying that we have one uh, uh, signal photon and one idler photon that can be generated, an annihilation operator for the pump, which is saying that one pump photon is consumed in this process. However, an important point to note here is that when this is plugged into the uh, unitary evolution operator uh, shown on the right hand side, we will have terms where multiple signal and idler photons can also be generated and multiple pump photons can also be annihilated. In our case, we will specifically be in interested in the uh, basic term that is going to generate two output photons and consume one input photon. By extending this, we can also uh, try to learn about what happens in a uh, chi 3 nonlinear system or the third order nonlinearity and how we can use this in order to generate entangled photons. In this case, uh, two pump photon will be photons will be consumed in the process to generate two uh, output photons that are entangled, which are signal and idler. And this is essentially represented by this uh, interaction Hamiltonian written down here.